come chill on the couch with us. Welcome back to the couch. Time for some fresh and local cooking coming up with our very own Sophie Bud. Welcome back. Thank you very much. What are we making today? I'm doing a little antipasti platter today. What's it called? Antipasti. Antipasti. Yes. Your Italian is beautiful. <laughs> Let me show the ingredients, Sophie. What have we got? Well, we've got some bocconcini. Yep. Baby mozzarella balls. Got some nice pink salt flakes that there I'm going to use for seasoning. Salt flakes. What have we got there? Balsamic, cream of balsamic or balsamic glaze. Beautiful vinegar just there. Zucchini. Zucchini. Lemon. Lemon. This one here is a hard one to see, but there you go, Matt. It's a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg. This one here... Is a smoked paprika. Can you see that, Matt? Looks it smells beautiful. Very strong. It's actually quite um, charcoal-y. It does, doesn't it? That it's one good. there? Pepper? Bit of pepper. Bit of West Australian olive oil. oil. West Australian garlic. Garlic. West that Australian one eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> We've sliced it up. And some pancetta. Can you see that? There you go. Pancetta. Ah, oh, hang on, Matt, I'll let you focus again. You <laughs> Never catch the cameraman off guard, I reckon. All right, what do we do? OK, I've sliced the eggplant nice yep. and thin, and I'll put this one on and show you. So um, is that just lightly cooking it? Frying it for a bit? frying it. We want lots of colour, and that colour is going to add to the flavour, and because it's gone all nice and, and soft now, mm. it's going to be perfect for later on, because we're going to make a sort of pumice mix and roll it up in the middle. You know what my mum does? She uses these zucchini, slices them up, fries them up like you've done, uh -huh. and then we pop it into spaghetti. Oh, lovely. You pick it up, you know, like three or four pieces at a time. Excellent. And it's beautiful. Very nice. What mm. we're going to do with the zucchini is... Yep. Um, I've peeled some bits here. I'll just do a couple more. You're just slicing I'm bits off, are you? With a nice wide um, speed peeler. Yep. That'll be enough for now. Beautiful. And I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of salt. So some of this lovely salt. Just over the um, zucchini? Yep. And now it's going to start sweating and all of the juice is going to come out and it's going to go really soft. And in a, in a little while we're going to roll up with some little bits and pieces in the middle. Okay. Okay, while that's cooking away there, just make sure we're not uh, not burning it. I'm using lots of olive oil as well. Now, you, olive oil's a lot better than veggie oil, eh? Yeah, definitely. Really, really good for you. And there's a glut of it in Western Australia, so it's really well priced yep, as well. Beautiful. So, What have we got here, Soph? There's some parsley and some basil. From your garden, by the looks of it, too. Uh, mine isn't quite big enough to pick yet, okay, but I am enough. succeeding in my in my gardening. All right. Um, a little bit of garlic to start with. Um, I'm going to use the blender. You can use a pestle and mortar as well Ooh. if you like, but I'm going to use a blender today. Okay. So one clove of garlic. I'm going to put it on the board. Do you do the whole crushing thing? Oh, that's what I do. Yeah. Someone taught me that. It was so much easier than trying to peel the damn thing. And it sort of peels it for you. Now, garlic, of course, being very good for people with uh, colds, flus, yep. and for heart problems, I believe. Yes, it's good for it's good for everything. Mm. Um, my mum used to um, cut it up and swallow it every day. Mm. She doesn't do that anymore. She's a little bit crazy, but fair um, enough. <laughs> right. And I'm going to get the other ingredients for this ready. I'm going to got the garlic. I've got yep. some cannellini beans, which I've drained and uh, popped in a bowl there. All right. Just turn that one over. In there as well, I'm going to use a tiny bit of smoked paprika. Yep. A little bit of the nutmeg and some salt and pepper. All right. And some lemon zest. So it's all going to go in quite quickly. All right, I'll let you do that so that we can um, see the final result here. A little bit of lemon zest. And when you're using the lemon zest, just the yellow bit, try not to get the white bit as well, because that's it, although we think lemon's bitter, that can be a little bit bitter. Hmm. The lovely fresh nutmeg. It's awesome when you're using uh, fresh ingredients on set as well. It is. It's beautiful. It makes such a big difference as well. And it's all there for us to use, so it'd be silly not to use it. The cannelloni it. beans. I made a, a fantastic Moroccan curry the other night. Oh, yeah. With cannelloni beans. Just to add some flavour, and it's just beautiful and very They're healthy. very good. You can do this with chickpeas as well. Yep. So that's absolutely fine. A bit of uh, pepper. Pepper. I did have a lovely pepper grinder, but I've been away for two and a half weeks, so my boyfriend left it outside and it got wet. Mm. And now it doesn't grind anymore. Get rid so, of him, I say. Yeah. Get him to buy you a new one. Okay, <laughs> I will do. Those electric ones. You know those ones you just press and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that one's just about ready. I'll just show you there. It's so a little puree. bit floppy and it's got lots of lovely colour on it. Yep. Now, I'm laying them all on top of each other because that residual heat is going to yep. continue cooking them. Right. Turn that off. 
and just a tiny, this is really, really strong. So just a tiny sprinkle of that in Ooh, there. Oh, nice. Adds a bit of colour to it, too. Here we go, mixer comes on, blender. Just nice and quick, isn't it? Very, very quick. It's still a little bit chunky. I'm going to add the oil now. Anything else you need from over here? I'm all right for, okay. for this one, thanks, Fred. Pop that on. And I want it to still be a little bit chunky. Yep. We don't need that anymore, do we? No. Pop that out. Push it all aside. The studio's on fire. <laughs> Yum. Let's have a look. Just have it. Point that up to there the camera. There we go. There. So it looks very um, pure. Quite rusty. Yeah. Yeah. But a yet not, not watery either, which is good. And I'm going to okay. grab some fresh parsley. Give it a really quick chop. Quite chunky. I can never do that. Every time I do it, mine looks really ugly. There's a oh, way it's not that pretty. The flat um, Italian parsley is, um, it's again really, really good for you. And mm -hmm. once you take all of the leaves off, you can really finely chop the stalks as well and use them too. So I'm going to get you to okay, do something let's now, do it. Fred. Are you Take ready? Take one slice. We're going to lay them all out flat. Okay, I'll do that. Beautiful. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of the bean puree in each one. Yep. And then you're going to roll it really tightly. With the pancetta or not? Or That's what I need to put in pancetta's there. for the next one. Okay. But let's just fill them all up so and I'll just give you roll an them? example. Okay. Yeah. I know we're nearly out of time, so we've got to do this very quickly. Roll quick. it really, you do, really You do tight. the first one, I'll copy you. There you really go. Really tight. And they go on our platter over there. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get these lovely zucchini strips. That's actually quite nice. It works really easy. A little bit of broccolini in there. A little bit of basil. Here you go. You do one. Are oh, you all messy? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe my hands. So there I've got go. the broccolini, the basil, the pancetta. And you're going to roll, roll one of well. those up for me. Beautiful. And don't forget, folks, you can actually catch this whole segment again on our website, thecouch.com.au. That's thecouch.com.au. Pop them on the side. And um, normally we do lots and lots of those and then some of this cream of balsamic just on the top of these guys. And you can just do heaps of those on a lovely big platter. Look at that. Which and camera are we going to show that to? Matt? Can you see that, Matt? Isn't that beautiful? Ooh. Oh, you knocked it over. Shall we try it? Let's try one each. Okie dokie. Beautiful. It's right, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> They're quite... Do you want me to cut one in half? No. I'll just... <laughs> you know what? That's beautiful. Thank you. Sophie Bard, fresh and local for another week. If you want to contact us or want to check out our website, this is how you do it.